I graduated in 2009. How it is important as a concept for, especially for FMGs. I think you need to have a clear focus. Not only you can provide a uh, good care. And finally, I cleared my step two because then you have room for doing rotation. So hello guys, welcome back to the channel again and welcome back to another video. So it's been a long time, I haven't uploaded anything on my channel but today's video is gonna be ultimate special as we have Dr. Yash Bhavsar on our channel as a special guest, special speaker and he's also an internal medicine resident in Texas, USA. So in this entire podcast or session or interview you can say we discussed his entire journey from being an FMG till cracking this monstrous exam US MLE so we discussed each and every aspect from like from a point of view of a medic of a of a med foreign medical student we discussed each and every point that from where he started at what time at what in which year he gave his step one step two electives research each and every point that uh, can be that can arise in any anyone's mind so this entire video like is more focused on like fmgs because he's a F he is an FMG, so this entire video will roll around the FMG path from FMG till USM USA. So this video is gonna be very interesting, and it's really very interesting for those who those FMGs who are like looking forward for this USMLE path, and they don't have any guidance, you can say. So do watch the entire video, entire parts, because I'm going to upload this whole session in part wise manner. So do watch in, uh, all the parts and uh, it will definitely help you a lot. And if you want to connect to him personally, then I will link his Instagram handle in the description box. And you also have a YouTube channel. So you can you guys can check it out. I will link that also in the description box. How would like how you how you would like to start this entire video, sir? I'd like to start it with uh, my, like, I would like to describe my journey, how I started USMLE and how it is important uh, to, uh, how it is important as a concept for, especially for FMGs, because since they are in a different country, they are outside the Indian medical system. They have a lot of opportunities to explore, uh, you know, various countries, possibly do a graduate medical education from US or UK or I've heard people go to even Germany yes. in order to achieve the same thing. So it it is very complex. The whole that there is a lot of things on the menu you have when you are starting your undergraduate. But I think you need to have a clear focus that what do you want to do? What's appropriate for you? So for me, I think I had I have a brother. Uh, I have my cousin brother who is an internist in US. So he was kind of like my motivation in order to you know pursue this journey since I was in uh, second year of med school in Ukraine. So uh, I think everyone should find some motivation uh, to embark on some journey like US family or something. So I started my journey back in fourth year of my med school. Um, after finishing with the third year, I was... Um, you know, me and one of my friends were really uh, motivated to do USMLE. Luckily, we found a senior. Um, his name is Meek Patel. He's mm -hmm. currently an intern in New York. Um, he recently also got his fellowship. So he was a really good guide for us who helped us through the journey. Who We didn't even know what was first aid for step one. So, <laughs> so we were that kind of a noob in the beginning. Everyone is a noob in the beginning. Yes, but sir. It's important to find a mentor. That's what I feel. So yes, we started our journey fourth year. Um, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, so as so a continue. Okay, so we started our journey back in like uh, fourth year when we first got exposed to the first aid for US Assembly Step One. Um, then slowly and gradually we came to know about different resources. Because it's very important to use right resources for you. Yes, yes. There are so because, many resources out in the market. Yeah. you Someone can get easily confused. Anyone can get easily confused. You know, because every resource is specifically good in its own sense. So yeah. it's it gets really hard determining like what's good for you. So I think 
the best thing uh, that people can do right now the mistake we we did was like we relied on a lot of resources and uh, we didn't focus too much on new world in the beginning that's why i probably had average scores uh, and didn't have like an extraordinary score or something like yeah, that you but, made it sir what the matter yeah. still you still made it yeah ultimately it matters like you get a spot that's the whole aim of this process but what i would suggest is stay stick to like a couple of resources like three resources in my opinion are the best like if you want to use video resource then boards and beyond is very good in that terms both for step 1 and step 2 um you what you can use is uh first aid of course for yes. step 1 you do know that book inside out because i personally feel like a lot of mcqs were you know based on the theories which were described in first aid so it's definitely very high yield and what you can use is u word so u word is like inside out do u word inside out do it a couple of times here and there interestingly during my uh, journey while doing usc i met uh, a high scorer who is also famous on youtube manik madan yes yes his methods uh, were i i can understand now that his methods were very u world focused he he focused a lot on repeating the mcqs in yes. his head and determining that uh, this kind of a question came in u world so he recognized questions um, how they were organized in a particular mm-hmm. clinical scenario so rather than just doing everything you what you do is like you can uh, do repeated mcqs get the pattern which will really help in the 7 hour long exam when you're finally facing it so um, i think these three resources are pretty much you know more than enough okay okay sir so the first question is uh, like a brief introduction of yourself that uh, where you are from and uh, from where you are graduated sure So my name is Yash Bhaskar. I graduated in two thousand nineteen from ONMU Medical University, which is situated in Odessa, um, Ukraine. And um, I come from a very middle class family. I am the only child of my parents, and I enjoy pretty much everything. I enjoy all the luxuries <laughs> of that, you know, uh, being a single child. But yeah, um, I had a cousin uh, who was. an internist who is an internist in US so he was my motivation since the beginning when i was really small to become a doctor you know so i just uh, i didn't lose my hope when i got rejected in the indian med to enter the indian medical system so i you know started looking for ways um, going abroad was a way you know it allowed me to accomplish my dreams I know there are some people who um, don't really like this pathway, uh, and there are a number of reasons. But uh, what works for you works for you. And yeah, I don't really like. Also, yeah. I other than just being a boring doctor, I am an artist myself. I like canvas painting. I like photography, and I just like to pass my time with all the creative stuff, making friends. that's it i mean as an fmg we 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 become like uh, adaptive to a lot of situations so yeah, we become multi talented yeah that is true 100% <laughs> because if you are like living abroad you have to know from a to z like not even uh, not like only studies studies but you have to know each and every aspect of the life like cooking cleaning washing each yeah. and everything you have to know and you should be perfect in that otherwise you won't even survive for You will just you will survive like if you are a mediocre in this. You will survive for one year, two year, but surviving for six years, you should be perfect in that. Exactly, I agree. <laughs> I I'm on the same page <laughs> with that. So I think yeah, that that is really important. I mean, going outside and you know knowing different people from different race, it just gives you an edge when you. you know come back to your country or go to a different country so yeah yeah so yeah that that has built my character <laughs> <laughs> yes yeah, sir because of this mentality only we can like survive and this, adapt to this otherwise we fmgs are look very differently nowadays nowadays also we can you can also relate and i can also relate and many of many other fmgs can relate that how we fmgs are look differently yeah Uh, but nothing can be done about this 
it's only the game of mentality only the thing of mentality mentality don't need to do anything. honestly honestly as fmgs we don't need to do anything we just need to do our work and just you know pave our own pathways yes yes so that's the only thing we can do um so the another one is like uh what is usmle and uh, why you specially choose usa or usmle for your residency as there are so many other options like you can come, come back to india also give next or oh, sorry need pg and you can also go to uh, choose plab germany australia you can go to multiple places but why specifically you choose uh, this usa for your residency i think um uh, first motivation my brother was there and yes. I, i had an opportunity to you know uh listen if not see listen about you know a lot of aspects about the us healthcare system and um i don't i don't find it different a lot from various uh other countries like you know canada is there even european system is there in yeah. terms of you know healthcare and its impact on at a population level because we have seen like in covid every country has done their best yes. and every country best in their own ways but us for me because i like the diversity in us um uh, there are people from all the races so um uh, you can see a lot of people like you working in that country you know uh, yeah. that's that's one of the main reason because there is diversity i i really like that stuff and another thing is the advanced healthcare the advanced education system the graduate medical education system in us is uh, highly ranked they, yeah. even in the intern year yeah even in the intern year they uh, teach a lot of aspects procedures there are workshops dedicated workshops um, uh, which you know teaches interns about how to perform an ic how to put an ic how to perform central line catheterization and stuff like that also i feel like uh, the population is the number of population in us is a little bit lower than the third world countries so you get per doctor there are less patients so you can not only you can provide a uh, good care for each of the patient but you can also learn a lot because you can have that spaced out time where you can really collect information in between the rounds uh, you know while managing a lot of patients you might not have that kind of time when you're practicing in india so i think uh that is an aspect which you know drifted me towards the us healthcare system yeah like like in the us uh, in the us as you said that uh, there are like a uh, balanced ratio between uh, doctor and patient so a single yeah. doctor can learn a an intern doctor or a young doctor can learn a lot by observing the patient by giving his more time to the patient as compared to india because in india and i don't know about other countries but in especially in india it is like race game like you have to see so many patients just now our uh, data came out and uh, it was like in india the ratio of patient to doctor ratio is like one doctor to 11000 patients wow That's if i'm not wrong but i think this is the only data i just read so a couple of days ago so the data was one doctor on 11000 patient in the government section private section i no idea about that but in the government sector it is like this only so i can yeah i can the, work, the, the work life balance is not that much as good as the as the, do, the doctor needs doctor is also a human being he also need rest he also like need some mental patience mental peace but uh, that thing is i think though not possible in india yeah that is true 100% and that's why i mean even in india when i finished my internship i met a lot of my co interns who were also pursuing this pathway you know every i think every 5 and 10 people were uh, at least you know starting to prepare for usmle and usmle in specific because you know the content of usmle is very high for a yes. pretty much definitely so any healthcare worker across the world the data they have you know put in put into pieces like in the form of new world and secure or in the form of first aid book it, it's just priceless it, you can learn a lot even if you are coming from nigeria or uh, you're coming from india third world countries you know so yeah the curriculum drives the patient uh, the medical student 
Yeah, so because after uh, studying or uh, reading first aid, um, basically in the step one, they just ask that we are asking the paraclinical knowledge and uh, yeah. the level of their paraclinical knowledge like compared to the clinical ones. When I um, read the first aid, the um, all the aspect and like all the criteria, all the protocol of treating a patient like we used to study in medicine and our clinical subjects in higher, higher years. So they are asking this, this thing only. So... I think there will be a cutting edge medicine. There is yeah. a cutting edge medicine out there, so that's why um, I think most of the uh, most of the students and most of the doctors have this kind of thing that after um, seeing all these intern in, uh, doing internship in India and seeing all this thing and uh, getting views that USA has this thing also, so that might also uh, drive them towards the USMLE path and USA. Yeah. True. And uh, the third question is like, at what time you started preparing for USMLE and gave your steps? So um, when I finished my third year, I had a study partner. Um, mm. Both started studying for USMLE in our fourth year. Okay. And we just started studying uh, first step for step one. Uh, we went through the book, uh, you know, without doing MCQs, which was our mistake at that time because it was far back in like what 2000 I guess 17 or 18 not even like earlier than the 2016 problem. so that was my fourth year and um, but I think we just because we had good seniors uh, who were on the same track uh, we found a lot of we, we didn't find a lot of resistance um, you know like some people find a lot of resistance while going through this journey alone. They don't have any study partner and they just find it very difficult how to pull this whole thing through. So I guess having a study partner helps you. And we started our journey in fourth year. We finished a lot of uh, new world MCQs. We did some new world MCQs offline before because we were not sure uh, about taking a subscription. So a lot of things right now, people have a lot of proper guidance you know there are yeah. organizations there are social media influencers back in that time it was not that popular so you know we had to make our own ways through that we used number of resources we used pathoma for pathology we yeah. used a, a microbiology book made ridiculously simple one for microbiology and we just collected resources from on like from blogs and uh, student doctor networks and stuff stuff like that so i think we prepared for step one for a year and finally at the end of fifth year we gave our step one exam uh, then i came back i graduated in 2019 i gave my uh, fmg exam when i came back i cleared that while i was preparing for step two and right about when i was about to give my step two uh, covid hit at that time it was like 2021 yes and my it, i took my date but the date got delayed two times <laughs> so i had to face that delay for a short while and finally i cleared my step 2 in 2021 mm -hmm. and, um i went for my rotations in 2021 that was a pretty much like fun journey because giving yeah, yeah. giving step 1 in your medical school and getting that confidence it's like a whole yeah. different story because now even I, have, I haven't given my step yet, but when I'm preparing, I have a like different level of confidence in me that I have this kind of knowledge and this aspect of knowledge and this aspect of medicine I'm learning. So it gave you a boost to your confidence a lot. Yeah, I agree. And I think this, I mean, everyone should consider this because if once you at least clear your step one, if you're thinking US, then probably start right away in your med school because if you are done with step one in the med school itself, then mm -hmm. while doing your internship, you don't have that much stress of two exams pending, you know, because both of the exams are very tough. Yes. Like we all know, and step one and two, it's a two is even a lengthier exam than step mm -hmm. one. The difficulty level might be same, but step two is definitely lengthier. The course is lengthier because it's clinical science. So I think... 
clearing step one out of the way in your med school or just after graduating your med school can be a big win in this journey because then you have room for doing rotations then you have room for doing research work because these days you know research is quite essential to be present in your city yes, they do ask from you that you know so yeah i think that's a win win clearing uh, at least step one in med school okay mm, and so what were your like scores in steps and uh, if you want if you are comfortable revealing it then sure. only so what yeah. were you my step one score my step one score was 220 and my step two score was 230 like i'm 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 uh, rounding it off it's uh -huh. uh, it's right at the periphery i'm rounding it off so step one score was 220 and step two score was 230 